A 19 crime alert tonight and a personal trainer car carjacked at gunpoint in a busy city parking lot. 19 investigator Kelly Kennedy digging into the spike in crime across the city. In an interview, you'll see on just one station. Ken Johnson is a personal trainer here at Brown's Fit in the Flats. He was getting off work a couple days ago. It was around 8 o'clock, still light outside, when he came to this parking garage just like he always does. But suddenly he was ambushed by two men armed with guns. Everything happened in such a, so fast. I didn't really have time in the moment to, to think about what was going on, so I just knew that my life was a little bit more important than a car. Johnson says he was approached by two young men he believes were between 15 and 17 years old wearing black hoodies. He also noticed a third suspect waiting for them in a nearby car. I did call the police, obviously, right away. There happened to have been a unit that was up on the hill. Uh, they came down immediately. They were uh, really attentive to what was going on, and everything kind of transpired pretty quickly. Uh, I was able to use OnStar to ping the car, so they were able to find the location, and I think within 90 minutes, they were able to shut, turn off the engine of the car. His car was found on Cleveland's east side. What really did probably frighten me is um, later when the detective did call me, you know, he said, good news, bad news, we've retrieved your car, but it doesn't look to be in the same condition. It might have take, taken a couple bullet holes. So if they would shoot at police officers, I have no doubt that they wouldn't have had problems shooting at me. Did they say much to you besides give me your keys? Uh, no, uh, as a matter of fact, I found it um, pretty strange that uh, they didn't seem overly hostile. Okay. Um, they actually seemed kind of nervous, almost like this was maybe first time doing this. Car thefts are up 92% in Cleveland compared to this time last year. I think uh, the good percentage of those uh, car break-ins or, or car thefts are related to Kias and Hondas. Uh, they're still uh, stealing those particular uh, vehicles. Johnson believes one of the major problems is the lack of officers on the streets. And when you're down that many officers and there's this much crime, it's a shame. So the message would be more to the city and doing more to hire more officers and get more people out here that can keep us safe. The city's police academy had just nine recruits in its last class, a huge drop from the 87 graduates they had back in 2000. I asked the police chief about it. Of course, I would like to increase my numbers. First, let's start with that. I would absolutely like to increase my numbers. I would like to have more than nine recruits in my academy. And we have uh, some plans in place to increase those numbers. But we have our officers are on scene who are, on, on, who are currently employed, uh, that we have staff right now, who I believe are doing a really good job in spite of the, the numbers that we have. The general manager of the Flats East Bank tells me they have hired 24-7 security as well as Cleveland police officers. They've also closed one entrance to the garage. He says it's a short-term fix to a citywide problem. In Cleveland, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.